Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about the managed identity in Azure. It's very important and it will be easy to understand and I'll give you a live demo. So let's talk about managed identity without delay. Let's get started. So what is managed identity? A managed identity in Azure is an identity okay that is automatically managed by the azure itself we don't do it and it's an azure active directory identity that is associated with a specific azure resource such as azure virtual machines or app servers or functions or you could you could take any resource okay it's it's specific to the resource now managed entity provides a secure way to authenticate and access azure resources without needing to embed the credential in your code or manage service principle manually, okay? Everything as Azure is something that will take care. You don't need any credential to access. For example, um, if you have a managed entity, you don't need to have credentials to access the SQL server or um, uh, storage account or anything, right? And then when you enable the managed identity for a resource, Azure will automatically create an identity itself in Azure AD and associates it with the resource that's how it works so let's let's take an example and then uh, i'll quickly show you a demo right there too, first of all there are two identities right system assigned managed identity and user assigned managed identity so yeah. if you come here to the portal and search for managed entity you'll end up seeing like this okay click on it and if you have not done so far you will see empty screen here but basically you click on create and that's how you initiate a new managed entity okay now managed identity again this is user defined managed identity okay there are two things right system and user defined this is user defined basically you choose the subscription select a uh, existing resource group or a new resource group you put where this under which region it is there and then you give a name okay so for example um, manage identity uh, test demo uh, just an example it will always be meaningful okay and then you go click on tags go to review create but it will be created that's it but this is not done yet okay this is how i create it but if i go inside n1 which is already created that's where the the access control comes into picture or role azure role assignment okay you can pick up any of these things and you can uh, click on this uh, scope this manage identity at which scope we are dealing dealing with okay so let's say i give subscription so my subscription is coming up here and then i can define what role this one has for example this is so this is something called acr pool acr pool is nothing but um the Azure Container Registry, okay? Um, so let's say if I choose this, basically I'm saying this managed identity is associated under the subscription who has read access to the uh, Azure Container Registry. If I have a Container Registry, I will have read access to it. So I can save and then that get assigned. And then if I start using this in the resource, it will start working. Now the next one is, let's say I go to any of the web app here, okay? And then this is a web application and we are talking about the system assigned identity. So in one of my video, I showed you if you come to this and uh, to the settings, you click on identity. If you click on identity, you see by default will be off. The moment you on, there will be identity created and then the descriptions here. Basically, Azure will manage this. Okay. The moment you on, like switch on this, there will be identity created and that's managed by Azure. You can now use this identity, go to the key vault and then go to the access policy, assign that. If you do assign that and then give permission, that's it. The key vault uh, access will be granted to this managed identity, which is nothing but this web application now will be able to access the key vault, right? So how you uh, saw exactly this is what will happen. So this is what all about the managed identity that you should know. And in the next video, I will show you uh, the interview questions that can arise from for this managed identity in Azure. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, put it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!